on to today's discussion on integer caching in Python. As programmers, we're always looking for ways to optimize our code and write it as efficiently as possible. Have you ever wondered how Python handles integer objects behind the scenes? Today, we'll be taking a deep dive into an important optimization technique used in CPython known as integer caching. Integer caching is a method used by the Python interpreter to reduce the number of actual integer objects it needs to create and represent common integers. But how exactly does it work? When an integer is created in Python, CPython first checks if that value already exists in a cache of integer objects. If it's found, it simply reuses the already existing object. This avoids having to allocate new memory and reduces object overhead. The benefits of this caching are significant. By reusing integer objects that are frequently needed, it improves performance and reduces memory usage. This is especially useful for numeric code that relies heavily on small integers. Not only that, but it also optimizes object identity comparisons. Two objects with the same integer value will point to the same cached object. Of course, no optimization comes without its downsides. The integer cache introduces an upper limit on the range of integers it can hold before objects need to be evicted. This means for very large integers, the benefits are lost. Also, the cache adds complexity that may outweigh the benefits for non-numeric applications. So in summary, integer caching is a nifty trick used by Python to optimize for small integer objects. But how can we demonstrate it in action? Let me show you a quick example using a for loop. We'll create a million integer objects and see how caching affects object identity. Stay tuned for the live demo. We'll create a million integer objects and see how caching affects object identity. Stay tuned for more Python insights. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you have any other questions.